cold in this uh, MGB roaster at 5 a.m. My hair looks okay. My hair looks okay. we were going to be taking the McLaren, but uh, we're actually not taking the McLaren. We're taking these two Jags. Uh, this Jag and this. We're going to take the, the blue twins, they're, although they're not twins. both these cars before, but we've never driven them to the show that we're going to today, which is the La Cunada Cars and Coffee. And La Cunada is out near Pasadena, it's out near Art Center where I went to school. It'd be fun just to take uh, two Blue Jaguars. Right, Michael? Right. Yeah. How many Englishmen does it take to drive two Jaguars? See, you hello, could... hello, you've got to become English. <laughs> I feel like I'm, uh, I'm going to England every couple weeks. It's great. Like going over here. Yeah. Okay, so we're driving the Jaguar XKRS, mm -hmm. the previous fastest production Jaguar on the planet. Mm -hmm. It was 190 something miles an hour. Previous. Um, the now also we're going to take with it is little, little, what would you say? Little sister? Little, little, little feisty yeah, sister? Little sister. Uh, the SVR, which is the current fastest production Jaguar on the yeah, planet, 201 yeah. miles an hour. I really want to hear you say it. La, La Cienega? La, La, yeah, La Cunada. Oh, La Cunada. Really La close. Cunada. We're going to the La Cunada Cars and Coffee. We have not been to this show, so it's kind of exciting. Uh, we're going to meet up with Greg Gill and some friends who are driving another Jaguar. Really? A classic Jaguar. Oh, wow. I didn't tell you that. Right. And I just did. Okay, so um, uh, we need to get some gas, though. Okay, all right. Yes. Let's okay. go. Cool. I'm currently driving a 2015 XKRS, one of only five in this color in the United States. We're going to Greg's place and we're going to be picking up a, a Mark II Jaguar also. So it's kind of a Jaguar day in La Cunada. Michael's collecting stocks even on Saturday. Or is it Sunday? It is Sunday. It is Sunday. Saturday. No. It is. No, it's Saturday. <laughs> it's Saturday. It's <laughs> Saturday is La Cunada, Early Rotters. It's the most. It's best. Most. That's best and most together. It's boast. <laughs> it's the it's most awesome. beautiful time of the time. Nice kitty. Pretty kitty. Wow. Okay, we have three Jags going in. We have the XKRS, which I'm driving, the SVR, which Michael is driving, 
and the MK2, which Greg is driving. And then we got a DeLorean that uh, Mark is gonna bring in right here, just, you know, just for the heck of it. So bring your A game, cause you know this party won't stop. We could never run out of time, sip and strawberry lime, you know I wanna share it with you. This is going boom, boom. If you're looking for some Serious classics, exotics, a couple of vintage right there. How's your food? Very good, thank you, Fargo. Uh, thanks thank to Starbucks. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you, Steak and Egg. Delicious. Uh, so technically, we're not at La Cunada Cars and Coffee. No, technically we're not. Yeah, so I, I did a major faux pas as a, it's French. How do you say screw up in English? Uh, dog's bollocks. Dog's bollocks. <laughs> I, I, I squeezed the dog's bollocks, unfortunately. Yes. We are at Early Rotters, which is a, a show in La Cunada. Uh, even better than the show that we, I thought it was going to. It's amazing cars. And some great food, I guess. Amazing food. Thanks to you, Fireball. Thank you. Very nice. What, what year is this? Wow. Very cool.
a turnout here at Early Rotters. This is some great stuff. It's a good mix from uh, Japanese to, you know, uh, to German to big ass American right there. Even a few Italian horses, a couple of Frenchmen, and dare I say it, quite a few Englishmen. Hello. So you know what, hence the shape. So Mr. and Mrs. Morris were sat around the dining room table. Mrs. Morris had commissioned this table because she didn't like round tables. So she commissioned this octagonal table. They were deciding what logo would they use for their car. And Mrs. Morris said, well, Morris Garages, MG, let's use a dining room table. And hence, Morris Garages. I've met a lot of people with interesting last names. Uh, what's, what's the origin of your last name? Well, it actually, uh, it would be German because uh, when my uh, grandfather was coming to this country, uh, he was in Germany and they were doing a census and he had to come up with a name. Original spelling was R-E-I-S-W-A-S-S-E-R, -S -S -E which okay. kind of means to separate water. When he came to Ellis Island, uh, obviously he was illiterate, didn't speak English, and somebody wrote the name down and spelled it R-I-C-E. So it kind of makes sense that you would want to separate rubber from the tires right right and you have a, a very non-german car you have this incredible Dodge Charger over here 69 uh, 69 69 tell me about this car why why do you have this here I've okay. known this car since it was one year old I used to teach uh, auto mechanics at the local high school right here this car is from this area ah. uh, one of my colleagues both started work in September 1970 we were both employed at the school we okay. had this car he used to bring it in for service about the later ladder later 1970s uh, he wanted to sell it my former father-in-law needed a car I think he paid 700 bucks for it when he uh, passed away my former mother-in-law gave it to me so wow that's how I got it I like them original the way they were built factory built so that was been the goal with this car is to yeah. keep it original. Yeah. Bob was at uh, Wheels and Waves and he brought in all the smart cars. He got a smart car also. Yeah, two smart cars. Two smart cars. Right. Because they're so small you got to collect a couple. Right. One's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> I have a uh, two horses carriages. I have a 1911 wow. Maxwell and I have a 1915 Oldsmobile. I'd love to get out, that out to Malibu but that would be a long time. Okay. All right. I'll yeah. uh, actually you should come to the uh, holiday motor excursion at Santa Anita Parks on the last Saturday of okay. December. It's the largest horses carriage meet uh, I think held in the country. There's probably uh, yeah, that sounds two, cool. three hundred horses carriages. Wow. What you have isn't necessarily a hot rod. No, it's. it's, it's uh, uh, it is it's exactly though. the opposite. Uh, tell me what you got. I have a uh, 1977 uh, Mercedes-Benz 240D, also known as uh, a 123. Right. Uh, with 1.3 million miles on it. So that that's a, you know it's it's a it's a nice Mercedes. I mean it's a great class. Right. Thank but you. it has a million miles on it. Right. It is original motor. Right. The transmission is also original. I had the transmission rebuilt. Uh, about three to four months ago. That's what you get when you get a German car. Exactly. It just goes on and on. It'll Ex probably be here long after we're gone. Exactly. I bought it uh, knowing that it has like 240,000 miles on it. Uh, now, the reason I bought it, I have a Chevy HHR that the engine blew at 180,000 miles. Yeah. So I need a daily driver. And I said, you know what? I saw this car right here in the car show. I said, I'm going to buy it. It was for sale. It has 240,000 miles. They said it's just breaking in. Yeah. I bought it. So uh, as far as uh, the story of 1.3 million miles, a few friends of mine told me that you can get a badge from Mercedes-Benz yeah. for 200 or 300 some thousand miles that you have. Right. I said, okay, how do I go about that? Yeah. Uh, I contacted Mercedes in New Jersey. They told me to fill out a form. They made an, made an appointment uh, to, for me to go to a dealer. I left the car there. A, a day later, they told me to pick it up. I picked it up and I said, is everything okay? They said, no. I said, what is wrong? They go, you don't have 300. 20,000 miles of product. You have 1 million 300 something. Wow. And I said, wow. So they had the, some records that indicating yeah. that it has that kind of a mileage yeah. on it. So to make the long story short, I filled it up. They did their, their part. They sent it to Mercedes a few months later. They sent me the certificate of. Uh, wow. Congratulations. I guess, whatever you call it. I wore it. Yeah, thank you very Man, much. That's great.
Rich, we're still at Early Rodders, and uh, I haven't seen these cars too often. I got to drive a 38 Ford convertible, but you have a 39. 39 four-door convertible. And how long do you have this? Uh, I've had 11 years. Bought it out of Newport Beach. Uh, it's all original, it's had the flathead V8. Why, why this as opposed to anything else? Well, I, we came out here 12 years ago, and I was looking for a uh, Ford convertible, and uh, heard about this one. And Forders are rare. They are. Yeah. They're, they're rare, and I just wanted a Ford convertible. I have a 39 two-door sedan, street rod, Yeah. and uh, this is uh, something I wanted. And it's got the Columbia rear end two-speed. It's got all the options, yeah. and yeah. Uh, radio, and so forth. So you'll have to come and visit your daughter out in Malibu. I would love to. <laughs> I would love to. Maybe we'll see. I think every third Sunday. Is that That's right. right. I December that 17th. That's next wheels away. Okay. That's about it from early rotters. It's not so early. Cars are starting to leave. Still a great collection. And still a bunch of classics hanging out doing absolutely nothing. Chatterboxing. stats the difference between the two Jags the XKRS or horsepower okay XKRS is about 590 okay sorry no 550 I'm sorry 550, 550. okay and the the SVR is about 590 595